You know what one of my dreams used to be? No. That I'd be successful enough to put my kids through private school. I wanted them to go to school with kids born of the rich and influential. Not have to go to state school and have their uniform put together from some tatty charity shop. That's not going to happen. And be bullied for being poor. I was bullied, you know. The memories stick with you forever. Stop it. Bullied because he got rickets or, or nicks or even worse, because he smells. And do you know why he smells? Because he grew up in some grotty B&B. &B. Tony! What? Business is bad, but what's happening right now is just a glitch. A glitch? This is a never-ending nightmare. Things will turn around for the better, but you're right about our finances. With things the way they are in this place, and after my um, spending spree, we better cut back. Well, I'm glad we both agree on that. Yeah, we do. And as I intend to retake my driving test, I've thought of a way we can save money there, too. Oh, yeah? Who's going to teach you how to drive for free? You. <laughs> Where's Mum? Thought she'd be waiting down here to give me another lecture. She's at work. Oh, good. Because the last thing I need right now is another ear bashing. She made a right show of me and the dog yesterday. What about the show you made of her in front of Frankie Dean of all people? She was so embarrassed. Sophie, I didn't ask her to come marching in looking for an argument. She is concerned about you. I don't need her concern. Do you know what? I am sick of her snooping and her accusations and her nagging. Sorry, Mel, correct me if I'm wrong. Was it not only yesterday that you got your HIV results? Yeah, so? So, learn from it? <laughs> okay, so you've got the all clear from this test, but you've got to go back in three months. But it is a night out that you can't even remember really worth all the stress. Don't start! Look, I'm just saying, you need to stop letting this get out of hand, because you know what, the next time you go out and you get blind drunk and, and have unprotected sex with a stranger, well, you might not be so lucky. Danny! I've done it! What, you've won? Yeah! I'm going to get the chance to design my own window display and show the world my amazing creations. This is brilliant. I know. I can't believe it. Last week I was scrubbing toilets and today I've been given the chance of a lifetime. Yeah, thanks a lot, Dan. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, when's the big day? Thursday. Hey, that's quick. Yeah, I know. Look, will you try one of my outfits? You want me to model one of your designs for a window display? Oh, this isn't going to be any old window display, Danny. I'm going to need your help, though. Hey. Doing this could be the making of you. I bet there'll be loads of press involved. You could be huge. You reckon? Yeah. I could, couldn't I? Well done, Joe. It's about time one of us had some good luck. Get your leg off the table. People are eating here. So, they say misery likes company. Not really, no. Come on, spill it. There's nothing to spill. It's Danny, isn't it? No. Yes, it is. A week ago, you two were all over each other, and now nothing. What's happened? Just drop it, yeah? How do we do it to ourselves, eh? We go on and on, falling in and out of love, when essentially every girl or guy is just the same as the next. And then eventually, we end up with just any old person. Two point four kids. A house, a mortgage, an estate a car. dog, blah, blah, blah. Ugh. And then this life of boredom and monotony, you just die. Wow, you really are a breath of hope. Yep. Howdy, guys. Both looking good today, I see. Thanks. Earth to Joe, are you gonna join us? Uh, no. Actually, I was wondering if you two were busy. I can't believe I let you talk me into doing this on my day off. What? We're having fun. Now it's officially boring. I mean, why do women still buy into this junk? Oh, get off your soapbox, Zara, and stop preaching. It's not politics. It's pretty wet dresses. Ooh. Hi, Alex. No, my mum did not tell me that you called. What? Yeah. Ray? What is he? Uh-huh. It's Terry. There's a new up-and-coming DJ called Mello. So? So? I've got a job. Not only am I going to meet him, I'm going to be in his music video. <gasps> yeah. No, 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 no. Tony! No buts, Mandy. Look, I love you to bits. You're good at many things. Driving is not one of them. I know it. Max knows it. In fact, everyone around here knows it. You're a hazard. No, I'm not. You are. You're a hazard to other drivers, to pedestrians on the street. Oh, no, you're just being cruel. No, I don't mean to be. Um, I'll tell you what, why don't you retake your test once the baby's in nursery? Nursery? I haven't even given birth yet. Nursery is years away. Exactly. I mean, there's no rush for you to get back on the roads. Besides, you got me. I can take you anywhere you need to it's go. It's about being self-sufficient. Well, forget about it. It's never going to happen. What? It's a well-known fact that after giving birth, a woman's brain is never what it was. Rubbish. It's true. They suffer from short-term memory loss. They forget to indicate, do three-point turns, everything goes out the window. So you see, why waste your time? 
Forget about driving. You just stay home and concentrate on some of those mummy baby books, okay? Okay. You know, even though this place is doing terrible, you and me seem to be working from the same page. Look, it's dead in here. Why don't you go home and start those books now? Yeah. I might as well. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're both here. Mum, if you're going to go on about last night... No, I'm not. While I was at work today, uh, I spoke to the student welfare officer about your debt. This is no one else's business. Come on, hear her out. Well, look, if you've got any other solutions to your problem, I'll, I'll gladly hear them. Well? Fine. What? I'll get another credit card. One with 0% interest, and I'll keep switching between cards to keep me afloat. And you'll just get more in debt. Now, look, last week I asked the two of you to get a job. And when you get that job, Mel, I've devised this hypothetical budget for you to live by. Now, if you to cut back on your drinking and a few other expenses, I've found a way for you to pay back your loan. And it's going to take some time, but it can be done. Especially if you're not running out these. I can't believe you went through my bag again! Mum, you shouldn't have done that. That's the only way to stop you from spending. This isn't right. It's not fair. Right, so if the two of you would like to get ready, I'm going to be taking you out. Where to? You'll see. I'm not going anywhere with you. Well, that's a shame, Mel. Because, you know, what I've got in mind, I think you'd really like. <laughs>